nine. Yeah. Um, the product of Masterson and, and the success that left-handers have had off him last couple of years compared to right-handers, um, I threw every one we had in there. Yeah, because, you know, when we envisioned him, we envisioned him DHing some and, and maybe playing a little first and a little outfield. And uh, with Alex swinging the bat so well in April, Chris Young swinging the bat so well in April, that's just been kind of tough for Garrett. Yeah. Yeah, uh, part of it is, but, uh, you know, my job is, is not to be caught up in milestones in a sense, but to be caught up with what is the best lineup you feel that day in a sense. And um, it's going to wait one day. Um, but I do want to get it out of the way because I, I, I think it's as much as a player you try not to think about, it, it's impossible. And uh, the sooner we get it out of the way, the better. It's been just uh, – Pitch selection for me, some of the pitches that he's swung at and the ones he's gotten to hit, he's missed a little bit. Um, maybe trying to, to get it out of the way. And it's just as much as I want to tell him to relax, you know, that's something he's you know, going to have to do to get it out of the way. Yeah. Well, I think it's probably more part of most players when they get to the level of accomplishments these guys have reached. We saw it way really um, hard on Derek. And that was one I didn't think that that would be the case. Um, but I just think it's difficult. So how hard is it writing a lineup without uh, Well, I, I had to do it about two or three times this year. <laughs> um, it's, you know, you want to put him in there. You want to put him in there every day. I also have to weigh, you know, being 39, almost 40. Um, Coming back at 1 o'clock tomorrow uh, to play again. Um, sometimes I, I don't think it hurts to give a player a couple days off in a sense. So uh, in thinking about it, it, we discussed it, and it's just what we went with. He's totally shut down for, I, I believe, 7 to 10 days, and then I'm not sure exactly what they'll do at that point. Um, I, I would have to ask Stevie. No plan to see anybody else. No, not that I know. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it, it's, it's really difficult. It's got to be extremely frustrating for him because everything we saw in spring training was positive. Um, I won't forget that day that he pitched uh, when we went over to play the Braves in Disney and how excited he was to be out there. And you could just see it and how excited all of us were for him. Um, and it's got to be extremely frustrating. Hopefully it's a mild setback. Um, but what he's been through, you know, I don't think we'll really know until he tries to get back out there. By the way, we have a number of guys throwing tomorrow. So let me throw that out there. Um, Cap Fort 60. Uh, Nova in an inter squad game one at 20, and Burton will throw in that inter squad game as well. I think Caps Tampa team forward 60. Yeah, I, I think that's the important thing. So, I mean, he's everything that he's doing is going in the right direction. Um, you know, you think about 60, 75, 90, and then you go from there. DH yesterday, or today, um, he's continuing his rehab. Um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what he's doing tomorrow, but he DH today. Um, I, I think he is doing better. Um, you know, it's something that we have discussed about what we might possibly do with him or not do with him. Um, but obviously, I think the bats are important. He was out what, a month, maybe almost a month. So uh, you got to get him some at bats in some real game situations, playing different positions. 
It was a possibility we were going to do that, um, but with the injury uh, to Tanaka, we were able to bring Petit back, who had been playing well. Yeah, what do you want to see from uh, the going forward? Um, well, his first order of business is defense, um, and I and I think that we've seen what he, you know, we're starting to see what he can do. He's made some really nice plays, um, and, and that's encouraging. And you know, I I think he's. He's going to be productive now as a hitter. I, I'm not saying he's going to hit 30 home runs, but I think he's going to he's going to do all right swinging the bat, and, and that has gotten better um, the last week or so. So just continue to go in the right direction. Oh, I think it's important. I, I think there's frustration there because I think he's pitched well enough three of the four games to to win. You know, he loses an extremely tough one in Detroit. We haven't scored a lot of runs in this game. Um, hopefully we can do that tonight and give him some run support and, and get him his first win. I just think that his pitch selection, the balls that he's hitting, um, he's squaring up more balls now. Um, and so many times as a hitter, it comes down to your pitch selection and, and is it, you know, is it mental before physical where you're too anxious as a hitter or is it just you don't pick up a guy? I mean, there's a lot of different reasons you might swing in a bad pitch, but uh, I just think it's, his pitch selection is getting better.